Neptune is the eighth planet from the Sun, and it's an icy gas giant, 54 times the size of Earth. It is very cold and dark, and receives 900 times less sunlight and heat than Earth. The heat from the Sun is not enough to drive its crazy weather, but it's the heat rising from within the planet that condenses and forms a band of white clouds at its surface. And like Uranus, Jupiter, or Saturn, it doesn't have a solid surface, but the gases on Neptune are denser than the other gas giants. Neptune's atmosphere is mostly made up of hydrogen, helium, and methane that gives the planet a deep blue color. Neptune is 4.3 billion kilometers away from Earth and has only been visited by a spacecraft once. It is so far that it took Voyager 2 12 years to reach the planet and 246 days, 4 hours, and 6 minutes for its signal to reach Earth. The spacecraft flew by the planet in 1989, providing the very first close-up images of Neptune, revealing a set of rings, moons, and the windiest atmosphere in our solar system. These winds reach up to 2,000 kilometers per hour, 10 times the speed of hurricane-force winds here on Earth. Neptune's dark spot was spotted in the southern hemisphere by the Voyager 2 spacecraft in 1989. The Great Dark Spot was almost the same size as Earth, but when the Hubble Space Telescope looked at the planet again in 1994, it was gone. Neptune was not known to the ancient civilizations because it's not visible to the naked eye. It's the only planet to have been discovered using mathematical calculations. Uranus's orbit showed something weird when it was first discovered. The planet's position was not quite where it was mathematically predicted it to be. An astronomer named Alexis Bovard hypothesized that it was because of the gravity of a nearby planet. Two mathematicians, John Couch Adams in England and Urbain Le Verrier in France, took this data and began to work. Independently from one another, without knowing that both were doing the same work, both predicted that a new planet would be discovered in a specific region of the sky. Then, on the evening of September 23, 1846, Johann Gottfried Gall, an astronomer from the Berlin Observatory, found Neptune by only one degree from where Le Verrier said it would be that year. Neptune has a very faint ring system that is made up of ice particles and dust with a carbon-based substance coating them. It has six very narrow dark rings, all of which are named after astronomers who made important discoveries about Neptune. Gal, Le Verrier, Lassell, Arago, and Adams. The sixth unnamed ring lies within the Adams ring. Fourteen moons lie inside the ring system, and two act as shepherd moons, Galtea and Nispina. They keep the two rings in shape. Triton was found by William Lassell just 17 days after the discovery of Neptune. Two more moons, Nereid and Larissa, were found a few years later, and no further moons were found until the Voyager 2 flew by Neptune in 1989. The largest of these moons is Triton, which is smaller than the Earth's moon, but larger than the dwarf planet Pluto. NASA plans to send a flyby spacecraft to Neptune, called Argo, that is expected to launch in 2019. The main focus would be on Neptune and its largest moon Triton, but the spacecraft would also visit Jupiter, Saturn, and other Kuiper Belt objects. I can only imagine what we'll discover by then. Thanks for watching and keep looking up.